I want you to give it all you got. Go up hard. Push it back hard. Harder. Up. Now push it back hard. Up hard. Now push it back hard. Up hard. Push it back hard. Up hard. Now push it back hard. Up hard. And relax. Hello. I'm Paul Turpeluk, Medical Director of the Cleveland Clinic's Employee Health Program. In that capacity, I oversee the health and welfare of our 42,000 employees, including the 5,000 employees we hire on an annual basis. In that capacity, we do pre-employment testing on those employees, including PCE tests, our strength testing program. Good afternoon. My name is Tom Gilliam. I am the founder and president of Industrial Physical Capability Services and we do physical capability strength testing for industrial new hire applicants, returning injured workers, and all for the incumbent workforce as well. Some of the companies IPCS works with will range in size from 500 employees up to 100,000 employees. For example, we work with two of the major railroads, the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad, CSX Railroad. Uh, we work with McLean Food Services and Grocery, the very large food distribution center uh, throughout the United States. Uh, First Energy, which is a very large utility company, and two of the major airlines, American Airlines and United Airlines. Companies today will take the technology that we have created to do the isokinetic evaluation, and we can determine the physical capability of that worker as it relates to a defensible physical demands analysis or job task analysis. So basically, companies do this type of evaluation to drive down their workers' compensation costs and to drive down their medical costs. And we have outcomes to demonstrate that that uh, happens rather uh, significantly. At the Cleveland Clinic, we're very concerned about placing our new hire in the right job. In order to do that, we do a comprehensive pre-placement post-offer testing, which includes drug testing for things such as nicotine to make sure you're not a smoker because we do not hire smokers, but also strength testing. Strength testing is a program that you just witnessed through Priscilla and the procedures we just saw, where we measure the strength of an individual to be placed at the correct job. In order to do that, the testing program itself will ensure not only patient safety, but employee safety to make sure they have the strength to perform the essential duties of that job. Some may think that nursing does not require strength for their particular job. However, nursing requires lots of strength. As many people are aware, patients have changed over time. We have an obesity epidemic in the United States where two-thirds of our population is overweight or obese. That translates into heavier patients, which is difficult for nurses to move those patients around in hospitals. And also, hospitals are seeing much sicker patients today than they used to years ago. So with nurses, it increased risk for injuries, or illness associated with just lifting when you consider the demographic of the patient being changed over the past 10 to 20 years. The, the, the Biodex equipment has been critical in terms of um, us performing the evaluation. The dynamometer that they uh, manufacture and include with their Biodex machine is absolutely critical in terms of defending the PCE process. Their dynamometer has been evaluated and tested for validity and reliability throughout the world. There are numerous research publications that, that helped you to defend that dynamometer, which is absolutely critical to our business. The Biodex machine is critical to allowing us to defend our process, our technology.